what is up you guys i am back once again it is htj halloween and i think it is about time that we talk about the new 2022 party city lineup now once again this is all leaks so same thing with spirit you know this stuff wasn't actually supposed to be officially released i looked and it's there is no halloween city stuff up yet um, you know how they have that that other website Halloween City and they get all the stuff up on that it's not up there yet so I don't think I will make another video um, when they release it you know unless there's some crazy new stuff but we pretty much have perfect images of everything um, you know maybe I will make a video talking about when we see what some of the stuff does but regardless I'll definitely be buying some of this stuff so Party City has really really stepped up their game this year and I was just thinking about it and I feel like Party City you know no one expects them or needs them to be the best Halloween store because realistically, okay, they are open all year round. They sell party supplies. That's what they're known for. So they don't necessarily need to be the number one go-to Halloween store in order to stay afloat. However, I think they have started to see how much of a growing market it is. And I think they've started to see how the competition has begun to plateau. So I don't know, you know, who was behind this for this season, but they did an amazing job with these props. And we're going to jump into it and I will show you guys and give you guys my thoughts on each one. But Party City really came through with an incredible lineup this year. Nothing like I've ever seen them have before. Um, so I think they really are trying to take over um, the Halloween lane. So the, one of the first props I have here is an image of this clown. Now, this is one of the less interesting ones because it does have a pretty basic clown look, something like we would see at Spirit Halloween typically, like a Seasonal Visions, you know, scary clown. It does have a giant head, though, and I have seen people saying that this is likely going to be like a really big one, like a nine-footer or something, which I think that's awesome. I think it's really awesome, those giant props. I don't even own one that's like the nine-footer thing, so maybe one of these days I'll get one of them, and I definitely want to know which one you guys will want me to do. I think the ones over at Home Depot are a little bit more popular, the the pumpkin guy and the skeleton guy. So maybe I could get one of those. Um, but yeah, if this is a giant towering clown, I mean, that is pretty sick. He's got like a yellow, red, and black color scheme going on. And I actually think he looks pretty good. I mean, I think he looks like a novel clown, not like a copy of anything we've seen before at any other stores. And I actually think the detail in his face is pretty good. It's pretty gruesome. He definitely has that demon clown look, but he's definitely very menacing. Um, I don't think he's my favorite of the lineup, but definitely a solid start. I mean, something I would expect to see at Spirit and wouldn't have been disappointed for Spirit to have. So definitely pretty good for Party City. I guess the question would remain with him, though, what exactly he does. You know, does he move from side to side? Um, you know, what does the voice sound like? That's all going to kind of make or break. Um, then this one here is one that's a lot more unique and interesting, something I've never personally seen before at any Halloween store, which is this popcorn guy. Um, obviously, it looks like it's probably going to be a jump scare. Um, hopefully, I hope it doesn't pop up slowly. I hope it pops up really quickly um, because that would be a really cool jump scare. It looks like it's actually, you know, press for popcorn is how you act activate it and then this clown head I'm assuming pops up the only thing I wish with this one is that the clown head was more along the lines of like the previous clown like a little bit more scary I'm not a super huge fan of the antique clown look I just don't think it's as scary especially if you're trying to do a jump scare like this um, I also think there could have been a little bit more detail on the the booth itself but this is definitely a really really cool animatronic like very unique type of thing it's kind of reminiscent of the fortune teller the Miss fortune teller at spirit um, you know has a similar design Design, but a, a reskin of that with a whole different a whole different type of thing it also almost looks like the popcorn lights up I don't think that's necessarily a great idea because that kind of takes away from the realism of it um, but nonetheless I think this is a really creative great prop that would have been great for me to use in like a circus theme so if any of you guys are doing haunts I think you know this is probably going to be a go-to for a circus theme although it's probably gonna be a little bit expensive but not as expensive as Spirit Halloween because Party City always t tends to have a lot lower prices which is part of the reason I think I'm going to go pretty crazy with buying their lineup this year because it's affordable so yeah this is definitely something super unique one of the most unique releases I I've seen thus far by any stores this year as far as novelty and not being a you know redesign of anything we've seen before so this one I think is probably up there on my list but we have some even cooler ones to show you guys this one is you know obviously I love the possessed girls and this one is definitely a killer for the possessed girl prop um, arena this is you know a very scary looking 
potentially techie toys animatronic something that looks very spirit halloween-esque and that's why i'm starting to wonder is spirit halloween maybe missing out on these deals are they having to fight with party city because i feel like some of these props look like something that i would guess that spirit tried to fight to have in their lineup maybe that's part of the reason we've seen them go a little downhill i don't know that's all speculation but regardless this girl looks awesome she's like changed to the ground she's got these chains hanging from her to kind of look like she's chained to the ground now she's got some blood on her you know very pale white hands that's all fine and good i do wish maybe that she had a face to her but there's definitely this element of the unknown the spookiness with you know the hair over the face that's a pretty classic possessed girl thing um mainly uh, makes me think of the ring and um that girl i forget I, samara morgan is what i'm is what's coming to my head maybe that's her name uh correct me if i'm wrong but you know she always had the, the hair over her head so that's a very classic possessed girl look so i don't necessarily mind it um it's definitely something we haven't really seen so i think that's cool although you know i always love a good possessed girl face so they kind of maybe missed the opportunity to do a little bit of something with the face but then I don't know exactly what she's going to do. You know, that's really going to kind of set this girl apart. Is she a jump scare? Is she a demonic Dahlia? Or is she a slow rise? Um, I've been seeing people saying that she's probably going to shake. You know, I think regardless of what she does, it's probably going to be cool. I mean, I'm already loving the looks of this one. I think it's probably definitely what I'm going to get. Um, I hope that she's, you know, five feet tall or something so that she's really full life size as you can see in the product image she's sitting in a chair so i am assuming that she's going to do some sort of jumping up motion potentially a demonic dahlia reskin but honestly it's a little bit even cooler looking than demonic dahlia i, I didn't really love demonic dahlia's look um you know what would be cool is if she had light up eyes underneath the hair. I doubt that they did that, but that would have been really cool. But anyways, you know, I love the classic Possessed Girls. I think this is the best Possessed Girl prop we've seen released this season by any company. Spirit Halloween really didn't do anything with the Possessed Girls this year, except for like Betty Sharp, but she's not even really counting. They haven't really had any good ones really ever for a long time. I mean, obviously they had the ones in 2014, um, but they really, you know, ever since like Floating Ghost Girl, maybe Menacing Molly probably would have been like the last one that they really did of that and then these previous years i have just been feeling like ophelia um like mommy's favorite like all the little girl like creepy doll possessed props have just had really goofy looking not scary designs and so i've been really disappointed with spirit on that i don't understand why they've been going in that direction but i'm really excited to see this one at party city this is definitely at the top of my list this year and I know this video is not about spirit, but something just came to my head that you guys probably would correct me on that they did have the 2019 um, Bloodthirsty Betty as well as Demonic Dahlia. So 2019 actually did have some cool possessed props. You know, those were some of my favorites of all time. And then ever since then, 2020, 2021, and 2022. So into the 2020s, we've had nothing but goofy looking, you know, Angeline type of props. And I don't understand why they've done that because every year they used to have a cool possessed demonic prop. And those to me are always my favorite. You guys know this is just a personal preference. So that's one major element as to why I've been disappointed with Spirit because I love those types of props so much and they've really been lacking on those now this one here is another super unique awesome one by party city this is the um p the not possessed the the rabid raccoon in the trash can it is a little bit cheesy looking it's a little goofy maybe a little out there for some but I actually think this isn't bad. If Spirit came out with this, I would think this is pretty solid. I mean, they've done similar things like this, like for example, the the two-headed big rat that they had. You know, I always think it's cool to see different animal props cuz they aren't super common, and I actually think this one's pretty well done. I love the fact that it comes with a trash can. It's a rabid raccoon. Maybe the raccoon's going to pop out. That would be the coolest thing. Um but regardless, I think it's pretty cool. You know, it looks a little bit cheesy but I don't hate it. I think if it could have been done even better, I think it's the concept is what makes it awesome because I actually think it's a really awesome, unique concept. And I actually think the face on this guy looks pretty cool. The cheesy part is probably just the body looks a little bit like a stuffed animal, but I don't hate this one. And I would not, you know, go so far as to say that it's not one up on my list. I, I may actually be purchasing this one just because I, I think it's very unique. So um, that's been one of the great things about the Party City lineup. We've been seeing a lot of very unique concepts that are refreshing. I think obviously the audio and animation is going to decide this one for me if I really do want to purchase it because it's a little bit on the cheesier end. But if, if it has some great screeching audio and like a jump scare type of 
um, animation. I think it'll, it may be one that I will purchase for you guys, but of course, let me know what you want to see down in the comment section below. Now, here's another giant life-sized animatronic I've been seeing a lot of hype about, which is this giant devil. Now, I'm never a super huge fan of devil props. For some reason, the devil doesn't feel super Halloween-esque to me. I don't know why. Um, I know that he is, I mean, because he's like that, you know, the demon, the, the demon that runs all the demons, but there's just something about a plain old devil that I never really floats my boat. But when it comes to devil props, this is probably one of the sickest ones I have seen. I mean, really ever. You know, the only one that I can think of is the one that Spirit did in like 2015, the Harbinger of Hell. But that was almost more along the lines of like a skull devil, whereas this one has the actual like demon, you know, goat animal face look to it. And it also has fog coming out of its its um, horns, which is epic. I mean, a lot of the elements of this, I love that his hooves, his hooves or whatever look like they're like on fire almost. They look like they're burning um, like embers. He's got, you know, pretty good detail on his clothing, big talons, a tail. I mean, as far as devils go, this is like the best devil I've ever seen. So if you're one of those people in the market for devil props, I would highly recommend this guy. And I have a feeling he's going to be pretty damn affordable compared to Spirit. So this is a really solid animatronic, maybe just not one that's really up my alley to purchase unless you guys really, really want to see it on the channel. Now, this next one is very, very reminiscent of the limb eating zombie boy from Spirit Halloween uh, 2013. But I think he was really there for quite a few years because he was a huge seller because he was really great. I never personally was able to get one, unfortunately. Um, but that was back when, you know, they really used to have scary stuff. And this I'm loving this because it's reminiscent of that. And it's scary, you know, in its own way. It's got lots of blood, lots of gore, but it's actually really creative because it's like a trick-or-treater so it is basically a reskin of you know the positioning and, and the size most likely of the limb eating zombie boy but it's got a whole new look to it I think that is actually really creative because it's like a little trick-or-treater with the bag with a bunch of blood on it the only thing that maybe would have been cool is if he was holding a limb or something although maybe that would have made it too similar I don't know if this is going to be made by techie toys um the same company I don't know that would be pretty awesome because I always love a good techie toys prop I do feel though that this picture looks a little weird it looks a little bit doctored so I'd really love to see what this guy's gonna actually look like in person but I don't hate the the paleness the blueness of the face I think it's giving like a real possessed look um almost more so than a zombie but whatever it is it's very creepy looking so I really really love this guy he probably is gonna be up there on my list as well because I have a feeling he's gonna be fairly affordable I just hope he has a really really creepy um uh, audio to him and I assume his animation is going to be pretty similar to the limb eating zombie boy just without the eating but I guess we'll have to wait and see who knows maybe he pops up like you never know um, but I have a feeling it'll just be kind of like a head turning and a, and a mouth movement type of thing also love the light up eyes element so this is great this is a great prop once again one that I really would have think that I really would have loved to have seen it's beard Halloween I mean really all of these which we'll get into that in a minute but this would have been something that would have really top spirit halloween's lineup this year but party city is selling it so you know what i guess that just means it's gonna be priced at a cheaper rate so can't be mad at that um now this one again this is another awesome and super creative one this straight jacket prop something i've never really seen before looks like it's probably made from the same company that made that possessed girl because it looks like it has almost the same feet so maybe this is all techie toys i don't know um but techie toys you know used to kill it with spirit so if they're doing it with party city now you know maybe the tables have turned and now techie toys is going to pop off with party city which i would love to see um because i love their props regardless they also i know they made harvester of souls so they still do do stuff with spirit and I can't guarantee that that's the brand this stuff is. It just kind of looks like it to me. But this straight jacket thing is really cool. It has a lot of blood. It could have used a little bit more of a blood splatter instead of just the big. But you can always like add that on, I guess. Um, and it's, it's this person. I can't tell if it's a guy or a girl, honestly, in a straight jacket with their head in that box thing. It's almost like something you'd see at like a magic show, but gone wrong. Um, kind of similar to like a saw trap. Very scary looking. So I love this. I hope I, I'm assuming it has some like crazy thrashing motion and I also hope this this audio is great really all of these props can be quite amazing as long as the audios and the animations are fitting um, but appearance wise yeah this is another one that is incredibly unique something we've never seen before and something that would be amazing in like a torture hall or in a torture chamber or something like that even in like a saw 
um, display. You know, if you had the jigsaw guy in the tricycle, imagine. So that's something I wish I would have done, you know, had the ability to be doing right now. Uh, but I'm not doing the haunts. But yeah, that would have been something cool in the haunt. This is the last one I have here. This one is not as much of an animatronic as it is more of just a fogging thing. Uh, maybe it kind of crawls, but I don't think it moves. Maybe its hands move, but I don't think it like actually crawls on the ground. But it's basically like a grave grabber, like the grave grabbers that we saw um, at Spirit Halloween. But he also hooks up to the fog machine and fogs out his mouth. So that's a pretty cool way to, to use the fog in your display. Um, I don't love the design of this clown. I think the colors are a little bit too clashing, a little too crazy. But, you know, this isn't really one of their bigger animatronics, so I don't think it really matters. Um, but he definitely would be cool in a circus. So that is the last animatronic that I have to show you guys. And all in all, I think this is a really incredible lineup from Party City. I mean, you might say they don't have as much stuff as Spirit Halloween, so you can't really compare the lineups because Spirit Halloween has a lot more. But honestly, for me, it's quality. Sorry, I almost said that wrong. It's quality over quantity um, because Spirit Halloween may have a lot more stuff, but I feel like all of these Party City props that I just showed you are hits. I mean, they're all hits. None of them are misses. I feel like all of them could be really amazing as long as the audios and the animations come through. And I have a feeling they will. I mean, aside from that, they all look amazing um, appearance wise and look really promising when compared to the Spirit Halloween lineup, I feel like there's like three or four that are good and the rest are kind of cheesy. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if Spirit Halloween is struggling to get the rights to some of these animatronics because a lot of them really do look like Spirit Halloween level animatronics. Um, Party City has never, ever been this professional and this good in a lineup. And that's just on my personal opinion. I mean, like I said, no one needs them to be the go-to Halloween store, nor do they need that for themselves. You know, they stay afloat with their party stuff all year, but I don't know, maybe they're trying to kick it into full gear and take over the Halloween space. And certainly this year is a great year for them because I feel like out of the six props I showed you or however many it was, none of them were bad. I mean, all of them were at least good or great. And I can't say the same for Spirit's lineup. So once again, I think my final thoughts on Party City compared to Spirit Halloween would be it's quality over quantity. At the end of the day, I want good props. And if that means sacrificing a lot of those filler props, I'd rather that. So I don't at all think Spirit Halloween has a bad lineup. I think that it's still good. It's just not to Spirit Halloween standards. And to my surprise, Party City just came out with like six props that are to Spirit Halloween standards. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's stuff behind the scenes where they're struggling to get the rights to some of these props because they don't necessarily make the props. Um, you know, they do license them from other companies and have them exclusively to themselves. So maybe Party City has stepped up their budget and is winning some of these battles over the props. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but I definitely wish the best for both stores and I hope Spirit Halloween kicks it up a notch in future years. The one thing I will always love about the Party City props, though, is that they are priced so much lower than Spirit Halloween. I'm sure they're still going to be increased due to the inflation, but they'll never reach Spirit Halloween level. And this year, Spirit Halloween's prices are truly insane. So, um, I am just super excited to definitely be purchasing hopefully like three or four of these props. Definitely let me know which ones are your favorites in the comment section below so I know which ones you guys want to see. But Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.